I was um, really proud to see Adele and Claire lead that film and be the leads of the film. We get a script, um, break the script down uh, into the characters, mostly speaking characters, and then we work with the director and the producer and the writer to find the best actors for those parts. So that's a process of doing ideas, it's a process of auditioning, um, and you know, often we might attach an actor quite early on in a project, before, sometimes before there's even a fully formed script. So our job really is to sort of is to um, is to actualize the characters on on the page. Writers often write scripts with actors in mind, or certainly directors come on board projects with an actor in mind. But often, you know, sometimes the actor might be just not realistic for the budget of the film or they may not be available. So it's sort of my job to work with the creative team, which is the director, the writer, the producer, to be like, okay, do you absolutely want to go for that person or give them choice, broaden broaden the kind of the people we're looking at and go, okay, well, there's these other people and they could also be fantastic. So so, so you, I feel like actually we've, we've thought, we've kind of explored lots of different things before we absolutely go for that person. Um, so it's a process of, you know, conversation, debating, talking about the characters. And, um, and sometimes, you know, a director or a writer can imagine someone in their head, but actually when you've got the finished script, it can turn out to be quite different. And actually it's not until they sort of start seeing choice and ideas of other people, do they go, actually, do you know what, that's more interesting or that, you know, I actually think that's not exactly what I've written on the page, but it's great. So it can, it can really vary. Are you better? Oh, you now? Finish what you're doing here. A terrible behaviour. I'm surprised at you. Hey, see you now. He's an old wood lad, isn't he? Who knows this one? Hey, 16 and we're breaking blocks. Got to 20 and we're robbing shops. 22 songs and start to walk up. Adil had met uh, Clio at a film festival. So they'd already sort of formed a connection. I think they'd sort of talked about stuff. And then we started to talk about the sort of partnership really of Ali and Ava and who would work with each other. And we, yeah, we talked about a very small number of people who could be right. And then we ended up doing chemistry tests. So we spent a day doing the most sort of organic, <laughs> Um, chemistry tests where we got uh, the actors to we used a lot of the stuff so the headphones listening to music we asked actors to come with like a couple of songs on their on their right on their phone and and that's what we did we did chemistry tests and from that we um, we all discussed and debated and then decided okay who was the best who we thought sort of was the best fit so it was a very, um, it was a very, it was a really lovely process, actually, that day of chemistry tests. It was, you know, it was really beautiful material. And, um, and the actors came with kind of loads of brilliant ideas and everyone played it differently. Every combination was different. But Adil and Claire were kind of magic. So, yeah. I think the reason why they work so beautifully is they're both quite truthful, natural actors. And that's why it works. I think, you know, if there were, you know, obviously we saw combinations where people might have slightly different acting styles or they'd improvise stuff in very different ways. And you're looking at all of that stuff, but you're sort of looking at chemistry. You're looking, it's, it's particularly for this film, you're looking at actors that can make each other laugh. You're looking at people who, who might have a shorthand with one another. And I think with, with Claire and Adil, they... They're just very sort of, they're quite larky, first of all. Both of them are quite playful 
people, actors, um, and they're very, very natural. And it's quite instinctive. It feels a lot of what they're doing is really sort of naturally instinctive. So I think that's why it, it works. But there's so many kind of little moments in the film where you go, you know, they're, that's their being them in a way. There's little things that lines they throw in because they feel safe and comfortable with Clio to do that. And they feel safe and comfortable with each other. Um, because they've they've developed over time, you know, over that starting from the chemistry test and then going into rehearsals and just getting to know each other, they've realized actually there's such a kind of tight fit and there's lots of things that they that sort of chime with each other. So I think it's lovely that you see little flashes of them in the film, but it's, you know, they are playing characters, but it's it just adds to the uh the naturalism of the performances, I think. Oh, bloody hell, I see what you mean. You do look a mess, don't you? <sighs> Scout bath. Who's this, the lot? Well, no, you're not getting no, him a bath. No, of course not. No. <laughs> Come on. Often when you watch a film you've worked on for the first time, it can be a bit discombobulating because you're... You're not watching the film as a whole. You're watching very specific things. And often it takes me two or three goes to just watch it as I would go, go to a cinema and watch a film. But I, yeah, I was very, very moved by it. I found it kind of, um, I thought it was beautiful. I was really proud. I was really, really proud of the actors. I thought they did a really fantastic job. And I was... Um, really proud to see Adil and Claire lead that film and be the leads of the film um, and be celebrated because they should be because they're so wonderful. So really, I sort of, uh, you know, I'm always nervous, <laughs> but I felt very, very proud. And I and I came away feeling like, gosh, Clio has made an incredibly beautiful film, but also those actors have really, they've really delivered all the things that we hoped they would and more so it was like a massive sigh relief <laughs> whenever you, when you feel that because you never know like and often during filming and editing a, a story can change it can change shape from 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 the your starting place so um yeah I was really really chuffed